like one o'clock in the morning and we're laying here we heard a big boom and now the current is gone this is what i used to vlog um i had some candles lit just now but i'm just gonna save them i put up all of our documents we are currently trapped in the dark welcome to another vlog here we go the canadians that survived the hurricane so it is the morning of the hurricane you guys seen when i was recording in the dark and it is bright broad daylight thank you god the sky is super super dark. but if you guys remember from my last vlog my amazing tomato tree i'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. Oh, one dropped no but let's take this one off there we go and then i just Oh, here's one. I don't know. This one just fell off, so oh, I feel so bad. But at least we got this one. I'm gonna leave the rest to grow and see what we can get out of that. And then here in my hand, I have some Cersei. I'm gonna boil that and drink that as tea and purge my blood. All right, y'all, stay tuned. Remember I said I'm gonna vlog the whole entire day and see what this hurricane is made of. Hurricane Barrel. All right, it is the day, and as you guys can see, we have current, which is always playing. I just made him his breakfast, not just, but he's eating breakfast. I want to give you guys a quick view of what outside looks like. It's very windy, guys. This is the hurricane. It's the garbage pail has blown down, all the garbage flew out. So I'm gonna have to pick that up once everything is over. Um, it's currently almost like 2 p.m. and this is what's going on. I would say we are getting a disc of it, but it's not as bad. Hopefully this is the most that we will get. The breeze is blowing heavy. The rain is blowing off of the veranda. The leaves. Ooh. And it is cold. The water is like halfway, it's almost inside a house. Because usually the water would stop like up there, but it's coming all the way. That's what he's talking about. So it's almost going into the house. Yeah, we're gonna definitely keep you guys posted. Check out that video that I posted on my TikTok and my Instagram talking about the cost of living. Well, you guys are already gonna have that inserted in this clip because it's part of the prep. But yeah, I am gonna keep myself inside and warm because you guys already know me. I get sick easy. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Oh yeah, about the current, it chips in and out every so often. It's happened around like, I'd say like 10 to 12 times so far where the current just chips in, chips out, chips in, chips out. I do have a slight headache. So I did go across to my neighbor's house because he has a blood pressure machine. So I did check my pressure and it's reading 155 over 102. So I am going to try to actually go back to sleep just so that I could try to simmer down my headache. I took a painkiller and I also, I took a painkiller and I also took my blood pressure pill. So hopefully um, in like a couple of minutes or in like less than an hour, I'll start to feel better. But for now, um, this is just a little bit stressful for me. Uh, yeah, thank God it's not any worse than what's going on outside because I can't be in the hospital right now. Um, as I get older, I'm realizing that I'm, I'm not as healthy as I thought I was. So yeah, if you're watching this video and you are somebody like me please take care of your health it's no joke especially if you have children children come first they must have their caregivers you know so we have to take care of our bodies guys speaking of that i need to stay inside yeah stay warm but yeah other than that we're here we're live we're healthy and we are also safe so like i said stay tuned because i'm definitely going to be vlogging everything mm -hmm. Guys, a tree fell down in our backyard. There it is, guys. The damage is being done. A tree has fallen. I'm trying not to cut you guys. This is really scary. Oh my god. 
is water coming in. Oh, this is so my, good. My about the broken window. It's still okay though. Yeah. Oh. You guys, this is not. We're getting hit with it bad. Oh God. <sighs> I just jumped out of my sleep, guys. It's not a good look. You guys, this is a big difference. I don't know. Oh my god, she's so big. She's gonna use very safe, you guys. But you guys, it's a lot different than what I showed you guys the first time. I am doing everything in my power to make sure Zari does not see me like worried and crying and stuff. This is actually crazy. I'm trying so hard to stay brave for him. But this is my first time experiencing this. Oh my god. The time is currently 5.05 and it's not like letting up. The winds are super strong. Oh, there's somebody running. Oh, people are running down there. But um, it's really bad and it's getting super dark outside. So I'm gonna start cooking before it gets too dark. And Zari's gonna tell me he's hungry and like I said, the current is in and out. Well, it's been out for a couple hours now. So I'm gonna use the gas stove, it's not electric. And I'm gonna cook dinner before it gets too dark. I have some chicken here, there's still some left in the freezer. I'm gonna start cooking before it gets too dark. And that's that. I'm gonna just make some quick curry chicken, curry, 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 with white rice. So, and here is the pot so far. Just gonna do a quick curry chicken. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. I don't know if you guys know what I am a chef. It's gonna make that boil down. And make sure the potatoes get nice and soft. And there's the rice. It's doing great. I think that's finished steaming now, so I'm just going to leave that off. This is the rice. I also have a rice cooker, but, you know, the current is gone. So, this is what we're going to be using the stove. Sorry if you guys see any mess, because it's dark, so I can't clean. And just like that, dinner is served. That's Jazari's, and this is mine. 
The time is now like minutes to seven and it's still going. So I'm kind of sad about that because I thought it would have been finished by now. But I'm just glad that I'm able to eat. I'm glad that we're safe. And yeah, we're gonna dig in now. It's very dark around the house. I'm gonna show you guys an example without flash. So this is how the house is looking. It's basically like almost nighttime, but it just looks bright at this window because this is the only source of light. So it kind of looks bright. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and eat now. And then my laptop died, so I can no longer charge my phone, which means these footage clips business is gonna come to an end because I have to save my phone battery for an emergency. I'm literally down to like 8% on my phone. So yeah, I'm gonna try to let my phone get some rest. And yeah, so I'll tune in whenever I can, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. How does it taste? Eat it. You like it? Yeah. Really hot, so you have to blow, okay? Okay. In a little piece, because. Hmm? Talk louder. I'm just in a little piece because it's very really hot. I couldn't blow it anymore. Mm. Mm. Alright, guys, tuning in. <laughs> we are laying in bed with a flashlight and. My phone is on like 3%. Just wanted to check in and let you guys know that we are going to put ourselves to sleep. We have been up counting, talking, telling each other stories for about an hour now. Because it's like 8 something. Let's see what time it is. Actually 8 o'clock. I just checked. Um, yeah. I said it was mm, mommy looks 4. You're going to start. Yeah. I mean, no. Stop. We both had a nice little bath, so we're all clean. Our belly is full, guys. We're just praying, and hopefully everything will be done whenever we wake up. Right, Papa? Yeah. All right, so we're going to end the vlog. Please. Well, I hope we don't have to end the vlog here, because I want to show you guys the drasticness of what happened outside. Everything is flattened out. A lot of zinc tops are flying all over the place. Trees are all down. The animals are running all over the place. And the trees in the forest. The what fell? Trees in the forest. The trees? No, trees in the forest. Oh, three sitting? Yes, yeah, trees sitting. Oh, he's a Jamaican. So he's trying to say three things. Three sittings. <laughs> three sittings. <laughs> he's such a Jamaican. But yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in the next couple of clips. We made it! Hurricane free! I'm gonna show you guys some of the damages because my phone is literally on like 3%, so let's see what I can catch. Starting off with my veranda. Oh my god. Look at all that debris and rubbish. Let's go take a look at what's going on out here. Look at what it did to the banana trees. Oh my God. The banana trees are done. Look at these trees. So we had this window boarded up, but my tomato tree. <laughs> the damn ground damn it you guys look at this everything is flattened out down the road everything's flat this is crazy all right let's go around to the back you guys this is a pear tree Watch out. And there was pears actually growing on it. The whole avocado tree is gone. Wow. All right, let's keep on moving and see. Wow. Oh my God. And then inside I showed you guys that tree that collapsed. 
we are literally just walking around and we only have two more percentage left as you can see i just woke up i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in we are okay if i can capture anything else for you guys on camera then i definitely will do so don't forget to subscribe hit that thumbs up button comment below what you guys were doing when all of this was happening oh my goodness july 3rd from 1 a.m basically all the way right back around to the next day july 4th you guys let me know what's been going on with you guys so from the last clip the camera died guys but i have something to show you and you guys are not gonna believe it i have a cousin here who's over 70 years old and he said this is the first time in all his life that he's seen something like this so i definitely had to grab the camera and come on and show you guys you're not gonna believe it but you guys are gonna see for yourself everybody you guys it's only like seven o'clock in the morning and everybody has been on the road looking at all the damage from like around six o'clock so me and Josiah put out our shoes and we are doing nothing but the same damn thing how you mean oh you mean i just finished sweeping off my veranda i left my phone to charge a little bit at the shop she runs off of solar so she has um some power so I just paid her $100 and now Jazari's phone is charging. I'm gonna give her another $100 and we'll have at least a little bit of phone life until the current comes back. Right, bop, bop. Yeah. So right now I'm gonna take you guys to where my cousin is and show you guys that huge piece of tree that chopped down. You guys are not gonna believe it. Stay tuned. The window came out and the roof is gone. Like, this is why I was like in distraught yesterday. My tears and stuff was mainly for the people who are going through it. Look at this, a whole window gone. The roof is off. Like what? You guys, are you ready? Everybody is like going crazy right now. My friends is what I wanted to show you. The entire tree came out of the ground and fell onto that man's house, which you can't even see. There's just so much mess and debris everywhere that you can't even tell where was a house, where was a sidewalk, where was the road. But look at this. This whole thing was flat in the ground and it's now laying down. If I could have went over there and shown you guys the size of that, but it's basically like something like this big tree just completely laid down Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys just our new hairstyle. Turn, baby. Bend down. Oh, you're so handsome. Come turn right here in the sun. All right, bend down. Uh huh. Nice. Bend down. Right there, and then up again. All right, guys, get rejuvenated. Get rejuvenated today. All right. You ready to go on the road? His hair is growing. Um, just to let you guys know, you guys, we are on day three. I'm gonna add this into the hurricane vlog because we still have no current. So I'm not gonna say we're struggling, but it's annoying. Like, it's highly annoying now. Like, everybody's complaining. People are struggling to charge their phones. A shop right here was charging $100, so I paid $200 to charge mine and Jazari's phone. But then up the road, Miles is doing it for free but I never went up there because um, a special somebody just charges it with their car charger for me. Thank you so much to who you are. Um, yeah, the same person bought me the gift. I don't know if I insert that in here, but I got a nice little gift and I'm manifesting for him to buy me a car for my birthday. Okay, let me, let me just stop. Don't, just don't listen to me. Anyways, we're gonna get ready. Yes, baby? Yeah, you have my when you're gonna be Freddy. Hey, you were you telling everybody how old I am? Oh, two. 
Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get ready and go on the road, grab some stuff, and then we're gonna go chill out. But yeah, I just wanted to tune in, guys. We're here, we're alive, we're very well. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you do for me and my child, or my child and I. Look at him, he's so handsome. God, Mommy, yes, baby. So, show them the trees that you forgot to show them. I showed them. Remember we took clips when the hurricane was done, we came out? Okay. You guys see that? And that one up there. Wow. Oh, you see the hand? So cute. Love your hair, boy. Alright, guys. So, we're going to get ready right now and touch out. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Continue to pray for us. As I said, um, there is a lot of damages that, like, have to do with, like, outskirts and like a window that a rock flew through on my side i'm getting some pimples and i don't know why so i'm going to leave my email right here feel free to e-transfer me send me any dollars or whatever the case may be whenever you guys do donate or whenever you guys do send please be sure to in the little note say who it's from and let me know if you want me to show you out because some people want to just keep it quiet but if you want me to give you a shout out then please leave it in the little description box and I'll definitely give you guys a shout out. Thank you so much in advance for whoever does whatever. But for now, we're gonna get ready to go and take a walk because when there's no current and stuff, we kind of go cuckoo. So yeah, well actually rebuke that in the name of the Lord. We don't go cuckoo, but it does play a little role with getting bored and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Subscribe to the Homestead 10,000 subscribers. Ooh, smart boy. Yeah, subscribe because we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. How much do we have right now? Like 8,000. Yes, 8,000. Give me five. You're so smart. Gosh, I love this kid. Bye, guys.